It's what the well-dressed astronaut will be wearing on the moon in 2025. As NASA plans a new lunar mission, it's also updating the suit that will be used. And so it's very important that you have very strict uh, safety guidelines and a suit that will uh, provide the redundancy and the reliability you need to make sure every time a human steps foot on the moon uh, that they'll be able to do what they need to safely and get back uh, and be ready for the next, uh, the next mission. Spacesuits have come a long way from the iconic image of humankind setting foot on the moon. The suits then were bulky, difficult to move around in. The last upgrade came 40 years ago with the space shuttle missions. This new $200 million design is considered a revolution rather than evolution, a dramatic new way to allow astronauts to do what they need to do. It's not taking a piece from, say, the current spacesuit and just kind of tweaking it and upgrading it. There's, there's cases here or there of that, but in large part, the life support system is, is totally brand new. Um, it leverages lessons learned from previous suits, so, so we're, we, we obviously study what types of failures have been hap happened in the past and what's worked well and what hasn't worked well, but almost everything inside the life support system is totally, totally brand new. These suits, designed 50-50 by America's space agency NASA and a private company, will be worn by astronauts on the mission taking humankind back to the moon for the first time in more than 50 years. They will have the traditional white covering, protection from the sun's radiation. And that mission should see the first woman and the first person of colour set foot on the lunar surface. From there, the plan is that it's on to Mars. NASA believes the new suit stretches technology before it tries to stretch the frontiers in space. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera.